Live from the Fairmont Hotel in San Jose, California, it's The Cube at Big Data SV 2015. Welcome back everyone. We are here for the wrap up of day two of Big Data SV, which is going on with Big Data Week. We've got Strata Conference, Strata, Hadoop, Hadoop World, all going on here in live in Silicon Valley. We're right in the center of all the action. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We've got the Advanced Extractive Signal from the Noise. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Kelly. To wrap up, Jeff, great day today. I mean, this event is just keep it going. And, and that was my theme song, listening to my son Tyler's song this morning. I put up on SoundCloud on Twitter, the theme song for the, for the week. Proud of my boy Tyler. Shout out to you, Tyler. Uh, great, great song. Um, get me going all day. Um, a lot of action. Um, fallout from the ODP. There's a new statement from the, uh, that just I just saw emailed from, from Pivotal, from the ASF, essentially countering, no, there's no fragmentation. We're supporting it. All that stuff's happening. I'm going to dig into it a little bit later. But in general, um, What's happening is the big guys are, 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 are aligning. EMC is looking really good, Jeff. I got to say, EMC um, has two divisions. They have the old bread and butter stuff, including some of the new stuff, flagship product with Extreme IO, and all the good products that they have that are, that are really you know, paying the freight for the business. And then they have this new emerging technologies group, which is all the new stuff to invent the future. We heard from EMC, and what really impressed me today was EMC's uh, standing tall and saying, we're going to reinvent ourselves. We're going to put EMC out of business by reinventing the future for EMC before someone else does. That to me is a very candid statement. The second thing, Hortonworks is very open. We haven't heard from Cloudera yet. We'll hopefully hear from uh, the CEO tomorrow. He's coming on theCUBE. Uh, we're going to hear from him and let him talk about their position on things. But in general, analytics, analytics, analytics with apps. So, you know, you're seeing apps again. I just don't see the meat on the bone on the apps, except for Abi Meta. Where's the app companies? Mm -hmm. I don't see them. Where we're are they? They're, we're still waiting. We're still waiting, Abi. Or, or, or is all apps big well, data? I and the apps are everywhere around us. We don't, we the don't even know. The problem is, if you look at what Abi's done, and, you know, he is, They've done the hard, this has been a, really the hard work of building these applications. They've been at this for four years, four plus years. Um, and they're getting to the point now where they, you know, they're profitable uh, last year, but it took time. So if, 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 if there are other companies out there, or if, they're, if you're just getting started now, it's going to take you some time to get there. The good news is the tooling's improved. Uh, so so the, the time to develop those kind of applications hopefully will be shorter. Um, but it's hard work. And it's, it takes a lot, as we've talked about on theCUBE today, talking to data scientists from Simply Hired and from Halliburton, um, Chris from, from Patents and Predictions, some of the things required to build these applications and be, um, you know, the, the characteristics you need to be a good data scientist, which ultimately is what feeds applications, you know, it's, it's statistics, it's uh, understanding data, uh, distributed systems, it's uh, understanding the business domain, uh, it's being collaborative, there's so many, so many elements, there's just not a ton of people out there like that, so um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I think we're coming around, we're starting to see, um, we heard that, uh, from uh, from Revolution Analytics that you're seeing more focus out on the floor at Hadoop World around application development um, tools. So uh, it's 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 getting there. We're moving in the right direction. The conversation is starting to shift from that first phase of big data, which was all about cost savings, low hanging fruit. I'm going to move some data from my data warehouse, save some money, put it in Hadoop. Fantastic, good first step. But the next step is okay. What are we going to do in terms of building applications that are going to drive new revenue, drive new lines of business? Uh, and that's where we're finally starting to have that conversation. It just takes time. I mean, people forget how how young this market is. Um, and there is there is a ton of innovation happening, certainly in the Hadoop community. But it takes time to coalesce around the applications. It's not. Uh, it's kind of a different animal in, in some some sense. So, uh, but it was a great day today, uh, John, on the cube. Uh, the last couple of days have been fantastic. We kicked things off as you mentioned with Abi Meta this morning. Uh, who, do, who did we talk to today? Hortonworks. We talked to EMC. We talked to SyncSort. Uh, I mentioned Halliburton. We talked to uh, Simply Hired. Uh, Microsoft, uh, you name it, we had them on the cube over the last couple uh, days, and Jeff, we're not done just yet. In. So. Just, just oh in. Oh dear, um, look at this. We have the uh, the poster. Now here. we have a prop. <laughs> you have the prop. <laughs> okay, there's the prop. Uh, this just in. Um, Want to thank our sponsors, EMC headline sponsor. Um, we're really excited to announce that we have headline sponsorships now, so so we're really psyched to have that. So uh, headline sponsor goes to EMC, and, and those are basically on a bid basis. If you want headline sponsor, you can do that. That supports the cube, and without the sponsors, we would not be able to bring our openness and what we do, we love doing, 
and we do it all day and then collapse at night <laughs> without our sponsors. We want to thank EMC for headlining sponsor, H2O AI, Penthouse, IBM, InfoObjects, Platfora, SyncSort, Informatica, Traseda, Wen Disco, Teradata, Hortonworks, and Pivotal. Um, thank you so much for supporting theCUBE at our event last night. Uh, we had a great, lot of comments on the quality of, of the content, the openness, the free content. People love that. And more importantly, Jeff, without the sponsor's help, we would not have heard those awesome stories of, of people sharing intimate things about their business and how the Cuba shaped their business for the better, how people got, found great jobs um, and also ascended their career. Really, that's something that we do and we're so excited that that activation, that content, that value can be shared. That is the open source ethos. That's what we believe in. That's our philosophy. We are not a walled garden and that we'll continue to do that. And thanks to our support, we can continue to bring these great, great uh, coverage for you. So I want to thank the sponsors. Um, tomorrow, another, another fun packed day. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's super exciting. You're seeing the maturization of this business. You talk about phase two. What this really means is big data is now going to be everything. Okay, you got cloud. In my opinion, this is how I see it. I want to get your take. Um, cloud, infrastructure, software, and big data. Big data being cloud, mobile, social, Internet of Things, all that stuff in, in one bucket, all intersecting in. DevOps ethos is driving this new standing up infrastructure quick for application developers. So big data is at the center of all the action. This new middleware layer is developing. It's going to be open source continuing and modernizing new frameworks, new ways to govern. So, Jeff, super exciting. Um, well, it's good. Th what you just described, you know, is, is kind of the new modern way of, of computing, but, as, but what you just described is a, pr it's a pretty big shift from the way uh, we've done things in the past. So, yeah. um, you're seeing some, some of the big players, I think, are going to make the transition, some are not. Um, some of the small players are going to get, have some good exits, some are not. It's, it's a fun time to watch this market and see what's happening. And we're going to be analyzing all the moves, we're looking at all the big moves from the big players, we're going to talk to practitioners and find out what's going on in the trenches. We love talking to practitioners. Practitioners. We had some PhDs on talking about machine learning and analytics. We'll talk about more of the practitioners. Of course, we're going to be covering the open data platform, hot topic, and we want to really talk to Cloudera. Looking forward to talking to Cloudera tomorrow. Um, we'll try to get them on today. Um, had some little stumbling blocks there getting them on, but hopefully we can get them on tomorrow. This is theCUBE. Stay tuned. Keep watching. We'll have replays rolling all night. We're off to go get some data, go out to the events and find out what's happening and try to stay out and keep the energy going. Jeff, great job today. Thanks to the crew. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned on SiliconAngle.tv for all the worldwide coverage here inside theCUBE at Big Data SV. Thanks for watching.